Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Easter greetings to you all from Wakefield Cathedral. If you come into the cathedral through the great west door, the whole of this magnificent building reveals itself in all its glory, from the font to the high altar. Your eye will naturally soon be drawn to the figure of the crucified Christ on the screen that divides the nave of the cathedral from the chancel. This is right behind me as I speak. To Christ's right and left are his mother Mary and the disciple John. Underneath the cross lie two serpents. They are there to remind us that it is through his own death that Jesus has crushed underfoot all that is evil in the world, preparing the whole of humanity for the new life that comes with his resurrection. St Augustine called the day of Jesus' resurrection the eighth day. By this he meant that God's raising of Jesus from the dead ushered in a new creation, a creation that emerges gradually from the silent heart of God's eternity into the deepest recesses of this world with all its chaos and confusion. The good news of Easter is that we are part of this new creation. This is our Easter joy. But alongside that joy comes our Easter task, to share this joy with others in word and in action, to transform the unjust structures of our society, and to challenge violence of every kind, pursuing peace and reconciliation. In the face of unspeakable atrocities in Ukraine, Yemen, Congo, Nigeria and so many other places, that Easter task has never been more urgent. May we undertake it with confidence in the Easter triumph of life over death and light over darkness. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia.